so keto pizza, um, it's supposed to be pizza crust. That's what we're doing right now. I have uh, three fourths cups of mozzarella, two ounces cream cheese, um, one third cup of almond flour. I got this at Target. It was like six bucks, so not anything crazy. Garlic salt, or garlic powder, sorry, and one <laughs> egg. So, so our first step is going to be we put the cream cheese and the mozzarella mm. and we microwave it for 30 seconds. So the recipe did say that it might take a few tries, but that the um, mixture would kind of be like a glob. But it's a glob. A glob. So this is the first after the first 30 seconds. And I'm just gonna put it back in here for another 30 so that it I'd probably do 15 so that it just kind of congeals a little bit more. Okay, so this is looking a little bit better. So after 15. So this was a total of 45 seconds. And I think this one's looking good. So now what we do is we add the almond flour, garlic powder, and one egg. And also, I would like to note her... Um, her shirt is the truth. Yes. Feed me tacos and tell me I'm beautiful. That's our thing. That yes. is my goal in life. <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone watches from around here, but we love Mexican food. And it's something that has really been hard for us yes. on this. We can have cheese, but... Um, and avocado and sour cream and meat, but... Yes. So, I went to Cantina 1511 and had the um, flank steak tacos with a lettuce wrap instead of the tacos. It was yum. I have to try it. So delicious. Um, I also went to my mom's house this weekend, if you follow my Insta stories, and got um, made cheese like crisps and used that for spinach artichoke dip instead of that. Yum. So, okay, so here's the mixture. The nice. next step is we're going to cover it with saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. You don't have to do this, but a lot of the reviews that I have read say that this that helps it to be more spreadable and just a little bit easier for 10 minutes. This is what it looks like now. Mm. So, can't smell it, but it smells delicious with the garlic and the mozzarella, so I'm pretty excited. Yum. Yum. This is my first time using almond flour, so. This is my first time too, we'll so. See. And we will tell you exactly what we think. <laughs> Don't worry. <Of> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna grease the pan. And I'm actually gonna put a little grease on my hands because this is gonna be pretty sticky, I think. It's still a little bit warm, but yeah, it's just the glob. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks just so appetizing. Yum. Yum. So it's supposed to be a half inch thick. Yes. So that's what she's doing now. Mmm. We shall see. Yes. Super excited. I am excited because I've kind of been craving pizza. And usually I don't, but like when I'm obviously on this diet, everything looks delicious. So. Right. <clears throat> okay, so didn't make a huge pizza, and it's definitely not gorgeous by any means, but, but it's there. So now we're going to put it into a preheated oven at 425 and let it cook for 12 minutes. Here is what it looks like fresh out of the oven after 12 minutes. We are going to let it sit for about five more minutes and then add our toppings. Delicious on the top, but it's a little bit burnt on the inside. It still tastes really Delicious. good um, for it to be almond flour, all of that. So now we're going to put on some of our homemade barbecue oh, yeah. sauce, which um, that video is coming up. Okay. So we put the homemade barbecue sauce on it. Um, now I'm just going to put some chicken on. This was chicken that we uh, made last night for dinner that we have leftovers on. Okay, so we're just going to put it into the oven and um, for probably like three or four minutes. Not long. Everything's cooked on it so we're just melting it all together. I'll even probably put it on broil for the last minute just so that it has a little bit of extra crunch. Okay. So 
So, end result of our barbecue chicken pizza looks good and tastes really good actually. Like, mm, like a pizza. Decent, yes. I will say it tastes super decent. So, good recipe.